in this video we are going to discuss the uh, functioning of leptin receptor so what happens leptin receptor is basically a tyrosine kinase receptor so what happens here uh, leptin comes and binds with its receptor which is a dimer and this receptor uh, there is a conformational change in this receptor which activates the genus kinase molecule which are linked to this receptor and this, in this case genus kinase two molecules are present and this genus kinase is also enzyme this enzyme gets phosphorylated and it in turn promotes the phosphorylation of this domain of the receptor and when this domain gets phosphorylated uh, this entire complex then induces the phosphorylation of STAT protein. STAT stands for signal transducer and transcription activated proteins. So these STAT3 proteins uh, after the phosphorylation produce dimers and this STAT3 dimer uh, moves inside the nucleus and interacts with the DNA and uh, there is the transcription of specific messenger RNA which gets translated and produces specific proteins and these proteins produce their specific physiological effects and this way leptin receptor produces its effects and it is basically an example of tyrosine kinase receptor and this is the jack stat signaling mechanism so what happened leptin bound its receptor this was the phosphorylation of jack molecules these jack molecules promoted the phosphorylation of stat proteins stat protein dimerized and moved into the nucleus and interacted with dna and promoted the transcription of specific messenger rna this messenger RNA got translated into specific proteins which produce their physiological effects and uh, this jack molecule also promotes other uh, uh, other signaling effects and activation of different enzymes via mitogen activated protein kinase pathway and ip3 pathway mitogen activated protein kinase pathway and ip3 pathway that are not of our concern here so it was all about today's video thank you